Welcome to this video series where we are going to discuss the similarities and differences between the Lenormand car. Hi everybody and thank you for joining us on this wonderful video series that we had started. The last video was about the snake and the fox and many of you have responded so positively to this new video and to the perspective and meaning that I have opened up for you. So the core meaning for these two cards are communication, okay, but the way that the communication is done is quite different. Let's start with the birds, okay? The birds is a card that represents verbal communication. Uh, when you're going to uh, receive a phone call, when you're going to have an interview with someone, a meeting where you have to take, you know, uh, to make a speech, the voice, the bird, sorry, will represent your voice, okay? Uh, initially, the bird is seen as, you know, quite a negative card because it brings up gossips, okay? And with negative card around it, this aspect of the birds is, you know, magnified. Um, it will talk about gossips, about rumors, about, you know, uh, people who are hustling you, you know, verbally. Maybe people can insult you with the whip, for instance. People can insult you. So the birds is really, you know, a card to pay attention to, okay? In another layer of meaning, the birds represent a couple because there is always in the normal car there is two birds, and it is the couple. Okay, an old one, you know, an old one. Uh, it it is also an ex exclusive couple. There is no, you know, treachery. There is no other woman when you see the birds. So when I'm doing a reading, I pay really attention to this card. But when the bird is far away in the grand tableau from the significator card, this tells you that the difficulties that you're meeting now will disappear, you know, in a way. And the bird is also a card for travel and um, migration. Of course, it depends on your question, on your context, but the bird is a card really to have a close look at. Now for the letter. The letter represents all type of written communication. Everything that is written on paper, that is, you know, that you can read. It can be a letter, literal letter. It can be a reply from someone. It can be, you know, a bill. It can be news coming to you in a written form, like text messages, email, all these kind of things. I see the letter as any written type of document from a contract to a birth certificate to, um, you know, an application that you are doing for some sort of work or, you know, procedures, legal procedures. Everything which is written on paper with ink is the letter, okay? I also pay a close look because the letter with positive card is, you know, positive news coming to you, positive aspect of the situation, things are opening up for you in a great way. But with a negative card, it tends to bring, you know, murky thoughts to you. It can bring, you know, negative news. And, you know, for instance, if we mix, for, we take the example of the whip and the bird, which is, you know, assailment, with the birds and the whip, it's, you know, a threat. You know, someone is against you and is, you know, can blackmail you as well. So you really want to pay attention to the card that surround the letter. Okay, it's a neutral card, and the card that comes with it will color the answer that the whip, the sorry, the letter is bringing up in your reading. I hope that this video had bring some new inspiration and new perspective to these two wonderful cards of the Lenormand Oracle. If you are not a subscriber of my channel, I invite you to subscribe now and leave a comment, put a like and share it with your friends who are like me, passionate about the Lenormand Oracle. The deck that I'm using today is the classic Lenormand and it can be found on my website 
angelcartomancy.com. Thank you.